Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Katherine Nicole. This is going to be a timeless video, together yet worlds apart. If you find yourself in the situation or you've been in situations like this, where it was distant and, and you felt separated and detached yet in the same space with anyone in your life, then this video, if you, hey, you have been through this or if you're going through this now, or you just want a better understanding on someone important in your life that's going through this, this is the video for you. It may not resonate with every single one of you and that's okay. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Time is an illusion. Whenever you're guided to this is the perfect time for you to hear these messages and learn these spiritual lessons because seven is all about spiritual lessons. Well, I will tell you that this particular card from the Tarot of Sexual Magic has been coming to me in my meditations, has been following me in my dreams, has, you know, it really was a, a, a reading that needed to come out because somebody needs to, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about when we're in these uncomfortable situations that we don't know how to get out of, okay? And we're going to talk about the throat chakra as, all, um, as well, and then we'll get started with more cards in the reading. But this is what I, what I channeled, what I'm feeling from this particular Seven of Swords card in relation to any type of close relationship that you have with someone. And take what resonates. There's been fighting, battling, control issues, awkward sexual attempts. Like you just don't feel it. Or one party does and the other party doesn't. Manipulation, emotionally unavailable, distant, indifferent. And then resentment builds and regret and anger. And you start doubting yourself, doubting the connection, depression. Feeling like you're a visitor or a stranger in your own home at a loss for what to do next, knowing it's not working but not sure how to move forward considering everyone involved, which could be family, kids, things like that. Knowing you must release these codependencies you have in this relationship and with your children, with your partner, truly wanting to move on from whatever it is, praying and asking for help, signs, anything regarding to love. I want to feel love again. I want to be desired. I deserve that. I know my kids and family will be better off if I'm happy. Do I deserve happiness and true love? Yes, of course I do. We all do. I know it's up to me to change things. I'm learning to trust my intuition. Eventually I will figure this out and decide. But for now, I'm living in misery because I choose to. It's a choice to stay. And I know sometimes it's hard and you have to take steps to get out of certain situations. But it's a choice that you allow yourself to stay for so long. To keep battling, to keep fighting the same old thing over and over. Never meeting in the middle, never, never facing one another and truly looking in one another's eyes. And we're going to talk about this throat chakra here, okay? So the throat chakra, uh, it's really important that your throat chakra is open and, and beautiful and blue. And, and I'm feeling for many that it's clouded and it's been blocked and shut and, you know, out of fear and doubt and insecurities. And I'm, going to, I'm sending you healing right now to really open up that throat chakra, to get it moving again, detox it, uh, and, and really open it up to a beautiful, healthy standpoint. I assimilate, I communicate. My ideas flow peacefully, expressing the self, listening, speaking, the information is inspired. I reveal my true feelings. So it's time to open up and reveal your true feelings, okay? What are you holding back in your life? What, where do you feel that you could express yourself and it would be beneficial to all parties involved, okay? It's like turning around and speaking your truth. What do you really want to do now? Now that you know all this, now that you, especially what I'm feeling is most of you have been in this for a little while. Um, and it's like, I, don't, I know something has to change. And if this isn't going to work, then I'm meant for something else. And so we're going to start with that card and we're just going to keep going. So, so spirit, 
highest and best for the general collective that's found themselves in this situation or wants a deeper understanding of these types of relationships, these types of um, unions. And, you know, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Where does this story go? If I get brave and I find my confidence and I heal and I step into my power and I allow myself this time to contemplate and I come out of it and I speak my truth, then what? Then what, Spirit? Then what? What happens? What happens for me? What happens for you is you're no longer forcing anything anymore. You're no longer holding on to something or someone that doesn't want you anymore. This feminine does not want it. She's blocking it. Please don't force me to do this. I'm just not into it anymore. I really want to be. I wish I was. But I think we're holding too tight to this union. I think we're holding on too tight to something that's not there anymore. When you speak your truth... And when you love yourself and you honor yourself and you move forward in whatever way is highest and best for you and everyone involved so that there's happiness on, in, in everyone's lives, that's when you step into your power. That's when you realize how abundant you are on your own and that you deserve the ultimate and so does your partner. And if this isn't working, you both have someone better in store for you. That's the truth. No longer allowing yourself to stay in a situation because you're relying on someone financially. Finding a way out. Figuring it out. Meeting in the middle. Figuring out a plan. No, no longer being in a situation where you feel like you're forcing yourself and you feel like you're forcing your love and you're, you're trying to force communication. It's, it's, it, that's what you're walking away from when you step into your power and love yourself. The Queen of Pentacles loves themselves honors themselves, cherishes themselves, knows that they are worthy of great love and abundance. The Knave of Swords. Let's see what else comes out. The King of Swords. The Knave of Swords is delivering a message from the King of Swords. Open up to these new beginnings. Open up to an opportunity of a lifetime. What you've been asking for, what you've been praying for is coming your way. But if you stay stuck in this energy and never make a decision to move out of it whichever way, if you can turn around and work it out, then turn around and work it out. If you cannot turn around and work it out and you've tried and you've exhausted every option, move on. Do both of yourselves, do everyone a favor and move on to these new beginnings that are going to be offered to you. Push away what's not serving you. The union that's not serving you, the distractions, the codependencies, the addictions, push them away. The message is, oh, I can finally see who you are now. Your light is shining so bright because you've stepped into your power and you've honored yourself and you've chosen yourself and you've walked away from not serving you. Look at this big clarity and truth that the Divine Feminine has. Then the true Divine Partner, this Divine Masculine that's meant to be with you, whoever that is, comes in and sees you. Sees you for your true beauty. You raw, naked, nothing on, no makeup the most gorgeous goddess that they've ever seen in their life. Pushing away relationships and codependencies that aren't serving them. Thinking about what they really want. Look, pushing away, pushing away. The masculine is pushing away what's not serving him. The feminine's pushing away what's not serving her. Coming into this, this beautiful opportunity for brand new beginnings for love, for stability in the material world. I mean, I love this this card. It's like the ultimate, you know, the family, the life, the I'm be with you. I get to be with you. I get to sleep with you. I get to hold you in my arms. And look at those red strings. It's faded. It's destined. What you're moving into in whatever direction you're moving is destined and faded. The things that have been happening, the tower moments, the fights, the um, inconsistencies are all part of the plan. 
That's too many cards, but the Ten of Swords, yeah, it's time to end it. It's time to let go. Yeah, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking when things don't work out, when when you thought your life was going to go one way and it goes another. But once you go, once you let go of the past and you let go of this cycle and you finally end things and, and actually let go and move on, then you come right into this Ace of Pentacles here. And then look at that, the sun peeking out. I'm just saying. Okay, we'll see what else wants to come out. All right, what's next, Spirit? Well, those just flew right out. Okay, here you go. Feeling desirable again. That's what you get from walking away. Having, look at noticing you, the Divine Masculine. Like, look at how beautiful this Queen of Wands is. She's a goddess. She's creative. She's creating life. Look, we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and we got the, the Queen of Cups. So it's the Divine Feminine showing up and saying, I am coming into balance with all forms of me. And I have my giant sword of truth and clarity here. And I know how abundant I am. And I, and, I, and I know this about myself. I am loving. I'm generous. I'm intuitive. I'm open to love. I'm sexy. I'm a seductress. I am all about leveling up spiritually and, and coming together with my sacred sexual partner so I can share all of this passion with them. Okay, so the Divine Feminine's like, listen, I'm getting it together. I want you to pour your cup all over me. Okay? I want this. This is what I'm this is what I'm manifesting. And like again, they love to watch you. Look at that. They watch you when you're loving yourself and appreciating yourself. That's when you're the most attractive. When your heart is open to this love, to this magic, to this sacred, sensual connection that you have, that's what you're, when you walk away from the past, this is what you're opening yourself up to. Free. New beginnings. Someone that's open to love, that will just hold you and hold you close to their heart. No longer closed off and pushing you away and being distant. Like, it's like, no, I got my truth. I know who my partner is, and I want these new beginnings, is what the masculine is saying. I want to pour my love all over you. I want to watch you get dressed. I want to watch you undress. I just want to watch you. I just want to be in your presence. You're just so mesmerizing and beautiful to me. If you guys haven't checked out the love letters uh, from the Divine Masculine and the Fi Divine Feminine, please check that out. It's a, It was a really fun um, experience. Okay, let's see. The five of pentacles. Yeah, moving on from the past. Once you do that, look at all this abundance. Look at all this romance because you're moving on from the things that haven't worked out and you're coming right into union with your true divine partner. Or, you know, if if it resonates that you get a resurgence in this love, then then wonderful. Whatever the case be, leaving the past behind is the key. Not forcing anything, allowing things to flow naturally, not pushing too hard, but being very clear and setting your boundaries and speaking your truth. There's a fine balance with all of that. Wow. All right, so the emperor wanted to show himself. Okay, here I am. Yep, I, yes, yes, I can see you, Divine Feminine. You're leveling up emperor status well i'm just letting you know that i'm emperor status too okay okay once i leave this behind once i leave this relationship behind something that i thought was my ten of cups my legacy my ten of pentacles uh i learned a lot i i love this person uh they might be the mother of my child or whatever whatever the case may be but i want my empress now and and she's not my empress i now i know who my empress is i feel her and, and that's what I'm dreaming about. That's what I want now. I'm taking charge of my life. Wow. Okay, I'm taking charge and I want to move forward. I'm finding the balance within myself. That's what happens when you leave the past behind. You find your balance. You find the balance of the shadow and the light. The, the divine masculine, divine feminine within yourself. And then you're able to move forward. Look how close the masculine is to touching his perfect divine partner and being with her. Look how close. Like, like. This close. And then here's an offer, making the choice. Divine Feminines, you may feel like, hmm, should I trust this? You know, you, I'm, I'm going to put my foot out there, but you got to do it slow with me because I need to know. I, you need to prove yourself to me because I've been disappointed in the past. I've had people say that they're going to be all that and then they end up not being. So, you know, I just want you to take your time. 
I want you to take your time and get to know me. And I want you to take your time um, pleasuring me because I enjoy that and I'm allowing myself to receive now. There we go. What happens when you move on from the past? When you allow yourself to heal from old hurt and heal the relationship that you're in and, and move on or you know, move forward, whatever the case may be, but a decision needs to be made. It's time. It's quite ridiculous that we allow ourselves to stay in situations longer than necessary, right? You've, you're learning the spiritual lessons. You will be rewarded with these brand new abundant beginnings. And, and what you're moving into is your destiny. This is the red string of fate. This is the judgment call. You're hearing the call. They're hearing the call. This is divinely fated. There may even be a child involved. You may have children or having a child. But there, it, it is divinely guided and fated. And it just is. It's destiny. It's who you're meant to be with. It's your true divine partner. And you had to go through everything that you went through to get to this point. But it is your destiny. This person that you've been feeling into, this person that you met and rocked your world and made you feel like nothing else, if that's the case for you, like, and, oh my God, I, 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 don't, I have to get out of what I'm in now because I know, but I love this person and I want to do it the right way. Yes. Live your life with integrity in all ways. Figure out the best way possible. Pray about it. Allow yourself time to heal. But once you move forward, you're moving into a destined, faded union that is the opportunity of a lifetime and will be very balanced in the material world as well as the spiritual world. That's what I'm getting from there. And there we go. I said, look at the bottom of the deck. Remember she came out before or the Ten of Swords came out before? It's time for these endings, okay? And you know what they are. You know what endings need to end. Let it out, let it flow, and allow newness to come into your life. Bring your mind into balance with your heart. Let go of the toxic thoughts, the toxic energies. Certain relationships don't work out for a reason because you're meant for something more. You're meant for someone different. And it's hard and it's painful, but you've got this. You're at the very end of it and you've got this if this is resonating with you. Be proud of yourself for how far you've come. That you're actually taking the time to think about these things and think about what's best for you and all parties involved. That's a divine feminine. That's a divine masculine. And showing everyone in your life that happiness and joy and love are the truth and that we all deserve it. We are all worthy of it. Wow. I hope that you enjoy this. We're going to get some messages for you, more messages for you who's ever listening to this. But um, I just, you know, it, it, it tells the story. It, it, it tells the rest of the story. Like, you know, we can't predict exact future. We all have free will. But once I know for positive, once you let go of the past and once you allow yourself to rebirth into this new life um, and you open your heart space again to love and you love yourself enough to move forward, you're moving into your destiny. So no matter how you look at it, it's a beautiful thing. The lessons learned are a beautiful thing. All right, let's see what the unicorn, we haven't used the unicorns in a while. Let's see what some messages for who's ever listening to this. Just some advice, how to move forward on this journey, or just some positive affirmations. Whatever you got for a spirit. Well, there we go. Flying. Do you see that? Flipping gracefully right out of the deck. Oh, my God, you guys. Come on. Did You saw that, how gracefully they flipped out of the deck. Wish upon a star and expect the best because there's a happy freaking surprise coming to you. Something very good is about to happen. You feel it. I feel it. Let go. Move forward. You're going to be dancing in freedom of utopia and ecstasy and the wishes you've been making is out. It's going to be better than you ever thought. This new life, this wish come true is going to be better than you could ever, ever imagine. So dream bigger and hold your vision, and, it, and it's coming. Wow, you guys, wow. This union will, will surprise and delight you. 
It will surprise and delight you. <laughs> I mean, and maybe some of you don't know who it is yet. And this, once you leave your past, all of a sudden you come in and you're like, oh my God, it's you. I've been praying for you. I've been wishing for you. I've been manifesting you. Oh, I've been doing the same. I've been manifesting you. And we finally get to live our best life together. Wow. If there's children involved, they're going to be happy. They're going to feel good because you're happy. And, and this person that you're attracting to you, this person that you're coming into union with, will be good to your children if you have children. Somebody needed to hear that. A good father, a good mother, solid. Look at this. <laughs> Romance angels. Yeah, here we go. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This union is a honeymoon. Leaving the past behind will feel like a blissful vacation for the rest of your life. And that is the truth. Done with love. Done with appreciation. Taking the lessons you learn. But enjoy the bliss of letting go. Enjoy the bliss of knowing that your wishes are coming true. And maybe it's time to go on a vacation. Just take a break. Disconnect. Look at this. What did I say? Destined and faded? That that you planned this? This was destiny? And then re reconciliation comes out? Someone from your past is returning to your life? Yeah, past life. This is eternal love. This is lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. And you know because you feel it. You feel to completely different when you connect to this person's energy. When you feel this person, their physical touch, which I feel like he's physical, bringing the feminine to him in the physical. What did I say? Manifesting one another. When you feel this person's touch, every cell in your body will be activated. You will feel ways that you've never felt before. It'll feel like you've known this person forever if you've never met them before. It could be someone from your childhood, someone from the past, absolutely evolved and transformed. For some of you, that might be the case. But whoever it is, it's, it's your destiny. And it's divine. And it, it's beautiful. What did I say about, wow, I kept feeling the kids, okay? Somehow children are involved. Future children, children you already have, um, they have. Your love life is being affected by children. And this is just another confirmation that, look, your children are going to be okay. They, they want this new life. They want you to be happy. They want to cultivate this new life with you. And they're going to be very balanced, stable. And you're going to teach them good lessons in life how to choose yourself and love yourself and that you can evolve and you can grow and so can um, so can they. And what did I say about this person being very loyal and a good father figure, good mother figure? Look at all these dogs. Very loyal. Very loyal connection. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they are. They are real. This connection is real. Do not doubt your own intuition on this, okay? Do not doubt yourself. You know the truth about your connection with your divine partner. You and only you know the truth for you. Okay? Don't let anyone take you away from that. Okay, we're going to get a final message here from the Power of Love Activation Cards. Maybe read a little from the book. They're by James Van Prague. What's the best final message, Spirit? For Wow. That just came right out. And look at what it is present. Wow. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Wow. Okay. Yeah, seeing everything from source's point of view, seeing everything from unconditional love will help you move forward. It's, yeah, it's just shifting your percep perception. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth energy of love in your current circumstances. The most difficult lesson for human beings is to learn to live in the present moment. It is a part of our nature to look forward to the future and dwell on the past. And unfortunately, it's a mindset that strips us, strips us of our power. Instead, we should be taught to learn from the past, live for today, and experience tomorrow. Tomorrow. Only then are we able to glimpse our true mission on earth. Everything else is just static. When you are present in this moment, you are existing where life is actually occurring. 
don't spend valuable time worrying about a crisis that may never come. Of course, look at the grand picture, evaluate your life, and set goals, but don't place unneeded stress where it doesn't belong. It is wasted energy. Reliving the past is also a fool's game. You have no power there, other than to diminish the potential of today. In contrast, in the present, you have the power to forgive the hurts done to you and apologize for any you've caused. The past becomes a stepping stone to enlightenment as opposed to a speed bump on your road to happiness. Fully appreciate the moment right now and attempt to get the most out of every second. It is when you let go and reside in the present that you are able to summon love with every thought and experience. Wow. Beautiful. I appreciate all of you. And please reach out to me if you would like any assistance on this journey, any healing, a personal reading. I'm here for you. I love you all.